Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. What's going on? We back. Good fellow sports TV. We in the building. Talk about an interesting interview. I caught on boxing scene. They got it on Fight Hub, though. That Brian McIntyre had about Terrence Crawford. All right. But make sure you check out our sponsor, The Health Blaze, thehealthplays.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get 18% off immediately. Immediately. And, um, you know, that's on top of the promos and discounts they're running. If you're a health nut, fitness nut, just like to eat clean, eat organic, and all natural products, try them over there. All natural products to assist your clean lifestyle with lotions, soaps, bath bombs, foot soaks. Hair pomade, muscle relaxers, natural deodorant, all natural products, and at really good prices. So head over to thehealthblaze.com. Use my promo code once again, Goodfellow One Boxing. Promo code and website is in the description. Show them some love over there. But um, you know, pretty much, man, read what Bo Max said, all right. Um, and some of this got a lot of validity to it, bro. A lot of validity. Okay, he says the article link will be in the description on the article link or source link. So it's called Thurman. Um they said Thurman, probably the most challenging champ. That's Bo Mack coach, uh, Crawford coach Bo Mack, Brian McIntyre. He told Fight Hub according, you know, uh, he, they asked him about size, Spence being 5'10", and Crawford being 5'8", and Bo Mack pointed out, you know, towards Keith Thurman's strength, but he says, you see what size does to you? Nothing. When he beat Benavidez, McIntyre said, referring to Crawford's 12th round stoppage over Benavidez in his last fight. Benavidez is way... Bigger than him, taller than him, but that mean, didn't mean nothing. You know, his punches didn't even move, Terrence, so size don't mean anything. But Thurman, he's mobile. He's good with his punches. He punches at different angles, um, you know, and, you know, that's basically what he had to say, okay? He basically said, and also he goes to say he doesn't even think Spence is a, the welterweight champion that poses the greatest threat to Crawford's perfect record. That distinction, according to uh, Bo Mack, goes to uh, Keith Thurman. The often Thurman hasn't fought in nearly two years yet. McIntyre maintains he would be more imposing opponent. But the one thing I got a, I got a problem with that for is that him saying that, bro, is because that I'm going to just put this together, man. But I agree that Keith Thurman, stylistically-wise, causes Terrence Crawford a lot of uh, issues. And I'm going to talk about something else he said that one of my subs, Ronnie Boy Fresh, has been saying for a long time. And I never seen Crawford say it before, or it came out of Bo Mack's mouth, or read it. So, um, credit to Ronnie Boy Fresh, man. Uh, good, good subscriber from the channel. Real respectful, intelligent boxer fan right there, man. But, um, you know, I'm going to talk about what he said in a minute about that point. Ronnie Boy Fresh was telling me in a live stream for about a month. But, think about it is that Terrence Crawford was never calling out Errol Spence, bro. And people remember that. He was never calling out Errol Spence. He was always calling out Keith Thurman. Even before he moved to 147 pounds, he was calling out Keith Thurman. He never wanted to fight Errol Spence. And people could say, well, Errol Spence had the not nothing IBF belt. Keith Thurman was considered the top dog. He was considered the big champion. And, and Crawford wanted to fight Keith Thurman. Bob Aaron was always saying Errol Spence, Errol Spence, Errol Spence, Errol Spence. Terrence Crawford team has always said Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman. Now, Keith Thurman's the only guy to come out there and punk Terrence Crawford, okay? Verbally, he punks him. Only time Keith Thurman's ever, Terrence Crawford's really ever responded to Keith Thurman is when Errol Spence pulled up on him at, in Oklahoma City for the Maurice Hooker and Sasados fights. And, and, and he said, this ain't no Keith Thurman shit over here. Ain't nobody scared. And, and I believe I don't believe Crawford is scared as well. But I think they can't do respect Keith Thurman more than Errol Spence, okay? Keith Thurman does possess a worse style. Or, or, you know, a bad style for Terrence Crawford. Because pretty much anything Keith, Keith, Terrence Crawford does physically, at Keith Thurman's peak, Keith Thurman does the better. Keith Thurman is faster. He punches harder. He got faster feet. He punches at angles. But the one thing Terrence Crawford get Keith Thurman on, I think, is is his overall stamina, overall IQ, and he doesn't load up on his punches. Keith Thurman knows how. I mean, Keith Thurman just loads up on everything. And that's one of the reasons he get injured pretty often. Terrence Crawford can just tap, you know, change speed on his punches, will you to sleep. He's he's more finesse than Keith Thurman, all right? 
Way more finesse. Keith Thurman finesse is running around the ring, not boxing, running. But that's a bad stylistic matchup, and I agree with them. And I agree over the years, I've seen Terrence Crawford show Keith Thurman more respect. Because when Keith Thurman says something, Terrence Crawford don't say nothing. When Keith Thurman blasted him and blasted his record and say he ain't fought Amir Khan, you don't hear shit from Keith Thurman. I mean, shit from Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford ain't say nothing. But Javante Tank say something. Errol Spence say something. Benavidez say something. You know, uh, or whatever, some, or even K. Diddy say something, he'll turn back. But when it comes to Keith Thurman, it's a lot of respect towards Keith Thurman. Even when they met up in All-Star Weekend in L.A., it was a lot of respect for Keith Thurman, okay? He respects Keith Thurman. I think he really believes Keith Thurman is his biggest threat. But don't nobody else believe that, you know, because they just look at the the, 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 the scintillating matchups. And I'm going to say this. If, this is the, if that's the case, we need to fight Errol Spence next. If Errol Spence is small potatoes to... You know, a uh, big stake of Keith Thurman. They need to fight Earl Spence next. You know, they need to go ahead and submit to whatever Earl Spence wants and fight him. That's just what it is. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta. You gotta. You gotta take a few steps back to take a lot, like ten steps forward, and you gotta submit. They need to do everything possible to make the Earl Spence fight happen. Bob Aaron coming out here saying he don't know who Bob Aaron if Al Heyman exists and all that. Well, fuck all that. All right. You know he exists. You said you spoke to him before. Y'all both went to Harvard, Harvard Law, Harvard Business, Al Heyman, Harvard Law, uh, Bob Aram. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't respect Errol Spence like that, it is what it is. But then again, Errol Spence said he's not fighting him this year. You know, a few people came out, Tim Smith or Tim Shaw from Al Heyman Boxing. Derek James came out and said they don't want to fight. And I heard Derek James said he don't feel that Errol Spence is ready. That's They don't feel Errol Spence is ready for Terrence Bud Crawford. So I'm going to go to a quote that Bo Max said also in this as well. Okay, he says that, um, I'm trying to find a quote here. Um, he, he goes on to say that, um, basically that, you know, Terrence Crawford ain't going to be in the game for too much longer in this article. And, you know, you know, he, he just trying to get out, you know, and, you know, he ain't going to be here too much longer. He said he want all the champions next. They want all the champions next, you know. And if they can get all the champions next, you know, one of the champions next, then so be it. But he said he don't think that's going to happen because that um they don't want it. He said they don't really they don't want it. And I and I believe that. I believe a lot of them dudes over there, they don't want to fight each other. So how is it hard to believe that they don't uh they want they don't want to fight Terrence Crawford? Is is the question, you know. But this is what he goes on to say. Uh he said he said it doesn't anticipate Crawford facing one of the fellow welterweight champions later this year because they don't want none of that work. They don't want to mess with Terrence, man. They see what Terrence do to people. He ruined careers. He says, uh, they asked him what he wanted to do next before. They said one of the champions, Porter Spence, Thurman McIntyre said, saying Crawford wish list. You know, you know what I'm saying? We want the best, best man. You know, we're getting older now. Terrence said he want to call it the quits in the near future. So, we might as well go ahead and get them big guys out out there and the other and the other champions. Okay. So basically he about to retire, like Ronnie Boy Freshman telling me, and he wanna fight the champions. If he don't get those champions, then Terrence Crawford will retire, you know, just like Timothy Bradley, and it will look it'll be looked upon that he ducked. That he didn't want that work. But in actuality, you go back in history, you actually look that the welterweights and PBC side didn't want to work with each other. So how can they not fight the dudes on their side of the street? But they but want to fight Terrence Crawford, you know. So at the end of the day, you know, if Crawford retired, man, I don't know in history that he wanted that work, but politics was in the middle of it. This this the era of politics, so you know it's tough, you know. And if you retire, man, I, I don't blame him, man. Frustration, you know. And I said before, I don't think him and Earl gonna fight. You know, they want to target in to keep Thurman as the big fight, but keep Thurman ain't fought in two years. He don't have no respect on his name. He don't have no credibility. Okay, Sean Porter don't have no credibility because he a punk. You know, people look at him as a fake champion. So the fight is to make Earl Spence, and if he they can't make that fight, which they won't, you know, Crawford could retire being the WO champion. You know, good Hall of Famer, nothing special, legacy incomplete. Earl Spence going on to move a different weight class, do what he got to do. But good fellow sports TV, I'll link the article in the description. Don't forget we on Facebook, we on Twitter. Now don't forget you can uh, check us out in the email, DM on, DM DM us on social media. Or email me. All the information is in the description. You got a question, business, inquiry, sponsorship. Also, check out my Patreon. Two dollars a month for hardcore boxing, and then my food for thought and relationship advice and 
real life stuff is, is five dollars here but check out the links in the description or we'll make a donation to the page that links there as well don't forget to help blaze all natural products at the help blaze.com promo code goodfellow one box and all the information in the description go check out their natural products lotion soaps bath bombs hair pomade and much much more appreciate you guys for listening hit the subscribe button bell icon button won't miss another video we on